Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of June 26th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Erdix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing. And today we're obsessing about whether to let kids skip a family obligation or event. Now, yesterday we were talking about uh, getting gifts from people, and this is the kind of thing that makes people not want to send you to the gift, send you a gift. <laughs> okay. I heard you graduated, but I haven't seen you at any of the family gatherings. Mm. I don't know. I thought maybe mm-hmm. you moved to Mars. <laughs> so, I, Catherine, you read this article. What does it say? <laughs> I mean, basically, this this mom of teens is arguing that, first of all, she doesn't want, she's saying that an obligation is a form of people pleasing. Like, she doesn't want to teach her kids that you have to do things because you have to please other people. And she doesn't want the fight, you know, with the kid over like, I don't want to go to grandma's, whatever. Um, but then in the end, she's like, and anyway, they, I want them to go because they want to go and they usually want to go. And I'm right. Like, okay. Then we're <laughs> done here. Like, well, I don't know why we're <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I just think this is definitely one of those things that is, you can't just make a blanket statement like, no. you know, oh, I never make my kids go. Well, okay. What if their other parent died? you're not going to make them go to the funeral (laughs) or like, what if, you know, their sister got married or uh, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, there's sometimes you might actually Mm -hmm. (laughs) just have an expectation of your child. Like I, it's, it was just definitely one of those, like, sure, go ahead and say that. But (laughs) we all live in a, in a, real world where that may or may not actually be the case. Yeah. Right. I mean, it depends on what we're talking about. Yeah. Like if there's an, if there's a frequent gathering at which children are bored, I can see them wanting to opt out. If you don't right. see your family that often, I mean, there's, okay, you don't want your kid to do things to, to negate their desires to please other people. But at the same time, there's a certain level of these are, <laughs> You know, these are people who should mean something to you. Right. You don't have to do what they say all the time, but you can honor them with your presence, with your uh-huh. bored, surly presence from time to time, and it's right. not going to kill you. Right. It means a lot to grandma to see you. you exactly. Know? Um, and who knows how long grandma's going to be here. It's just, I mean, there's like, there's people pleasing on the one side, I guess, and manners on the other. Mm-hmm. 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 It's not bad to go from time to time, even if it's boring. I right. say this because we have no more family near us, so we hardly ever see our family, so it's really <laughs> right. easy. But when they were around, we got together quite a lot. And my kids actually, my daughter especially, loves being with family, extended family, way more than I do. Mm-hmm. So she's really sad when we can't see them a lot. We used to like drive halfway between our where they live now and where we live and have holiday meals together. And we just don't do that anymore because the people who have been driving there just like, can we just stay home? Can we just mm-hmm. stay home? So it's the adults, really. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she's really upset about it. So she, maybe she needs an episode on, should you force your parents to take you <laughs> and see family members? <laughs> Or do you not want them to learn to please you? That would be bad. Right. Um, but I, you know, I, I never had that much family stuff when I was growing up. And we did here for a little while, and now we really don't. My husband had a lot of it, but he was a dutiful guy. Um, so it seems like it could theoretically be kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, when I was growing up, we had a f- you know, fair number of family that lived right in town. So, you know, basically once a month, there would be something. It was somebody's birthday or it was a holiday or, you know, it was summer, whatever it was, and we would get together. So it was, and I don't remember certainly as a kid not wanting to do it, you know, I mean, because 
at some point it was my birthday. So <laughs> <That's right. laughs> there was always cake, you know? Uh, it's, so yeah, it, it just was kind of what you did. And yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess to some extent, yeah, it was an expectation and nobody was, but nobody was ever trying to get out of it. It's, as far as I know, yeah. <laughs> maybe the adults were, and I just <laughs> didn't pick up on that as a kid. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. So, I, don't I think though you kind of have to honor your kids' um, boundaries too. I mean, there's well. manners and then there's being polite, but I think mm-hmm. sometimes it's okay to not, you know, they don't need to be at everything if that's right. not what they're comfort is Mm -hmm. I am speaking from the point of view where I had to go to everything until I was you know of an age where I shouldn't have had to or Mm -hmm. I could have had the choice right right and Uh and those were some very made for some very uncomfortable moments in terms of just (laughs) yeah socializing because I'm more of an introvert so right um yeah I I would have really liked and a lot a lot of them I didn't need to be there for like if Mm -hmm. if there was a conversation about okay really how important is this (laughs) what is this absolutely (laughs) crucial or not (laughs) right yeah and I don't know that's well, fre- a- frequency is certainly a thing. And also, is there somebody there who picks on your kid, either a cousin mm-hmm. or an adult? Yeah. The, in that case, forget it. Yeah. But I ain't going either. Right. I've, mm-hmm. had those, I've had those feelings from time to time. Mm-hmm. But, and sometimes my kid didn't notice it and I did. So, that was, mm-hmm. so I was feeling angry for myself and for my kid who was mm-hmm. just having a good time. Right. Um, but those are the kind of things that make you say, you know what, this isn't that important. Mm-hmm. Right. At least on a frequent basis. Yeah. I yeah. mean, just because their family doesn't make them good people. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, we're hoping nobody from Nicole's family is listening to this episode. <laughs> we're not talking about you. No. Nah. She means somebody else. You know who she means. You know. <laughs> Let's just not wear the rose colored glasses here. <laughs> 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 it's great that you know that's if that's the case but I think right. we also need to be aware that there's also other you know experiences yeah. right yeah we have extended family who we see seldom enough that it's fun when we see them mm-hmm. but a lot of the times it's for like weddings and and showers and stuff like that that my kids aren't invited to and I wish they were cuz they would have a better time than me mm-hmm. and I'd like them to get to know these you know extended family members but there's not really um a venue for that really anymore mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. weddings weddings showers and funerals is pretty much it so right. I don't know well funerals everyone's allowed to go <laughs> My, no my son list. is very good at funerals. He's he's got his he's he's a good Italian boy. He's got the manners down. <laughs> oh. People are impressed by him. Nice. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Family, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's complicated. It's, it's complicated. complicated. <laughs> Go to the gatherings right before the graduation and the first communion, so you can drop <laughs> right. that information. <laughs> And then just just have a have oh you know he's so involved in sports we just really can't and oh did I mention that she's in the marching band and <laughs> darn they have a play right. that weekend right so you know there's ways yep yeah well we hope you feel obligated to listen to us every day <laughs> <laughs> that's right don't think you can get out of that <laughs> that's very important bring it with you to the game yes. right it'll. Give you something to do rather than talk to your family. There, there you, you go. go. Perfect. <laughs> that is a perfect I'm sorry, solution. but I have 5,000 episodes I downloaded and I got to listen to them all. <laughs> I got to free up some space on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things that we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there, on our Facebook page, or on Twitter, where you will find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>